Hey guys, it's Rob here and I'm back with another Maya modeling tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a sphere from a cube. Now, why would we do this? Well, let's step back for a minute. So, if we were to use this default sphere here, you may think that this is great for a video game environment. It's not. Now, I'm not saying it's it won't work in a video game environment. I'm not even saying it's not a good idea to use in a video game environment. I'm saying it's not the best idea. Why is that? One is because uh, the high resolution. As we see here, there are a lot of faces just for this one sphere. Now, if we're in a video game and we're really far away, the amount of geometry there that we're using to define this sphere is way too much. Now, you can say, okay, but Rob, can we go to the attribute editor, go to our polysphere one, and drop these down to about 11 each? And now when we're really far away, it still looks like a sphere, uh, you know, that, that's not edgy, it still looks smooth, right? And when we hit F to frame it, you know, we, we could see that, you know, this, this resolution was turned down. You could do that. But what you'll notice here is that you have this pole at the top and this pole at the bottom. A pole is when five or more edges intersect at one vertex. Now this is not good in terms of modeling. Right, so I, I'm just using the smooth preview here. So that's so hitting the three key will give us the smooth preview. And so so that that's uh, you know one way for using the mental ray renderer uh, that you could actually make this look just as smooth as our other sphere there. Uh, so you could use the the mesh uh, smooth preview. But back on topic here, we don't like that there is a pole at the top and bottom of this object. How can we avoid that? Well, we can start by creating a cube. Once I've created that cube, I'm going to frame it. And we can't see the cube right now because the cube is under this guy here. I might have created one too many cubes. Okay, so here's our cube. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Mesh Smooth. And now, you'll notice that this mesh has been subdivided. Now, we could go up here to divisions and play around with that, but what I want to do is I want to hit the G key. So you'll see in just two quick and easy steps, I was able to take that cube mesh and make it into a sphere mesh. Now I'm going to show that technique one more time. Create the cube. Now select the cube, frame the cube. Right? So we create the cube, mesh, smooth, and then hit the G key on the keyboard. And now we have a game ready sphere that we could use. Right? So now you'll notice that there are no more poles. We just have those six faces almost converted into this round object here. Right? So you can see that those six main faces of the cube now almost subdivide this sphere up when you look at it from these angles. So you would have these edges that's one face of the former cube thanks for watching guys please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial